yeah good day everyone i am ch reddy from crystal spiders institute uh, today guys we are going to see how to resolve an error message that is um, i'm going to show you that error message guys here this is what the error message exclusive access could not be obtained because of the database it is in use this is the error message guys uh, we are going to see uh, when we are restoring a backup file onto the database in the ms sql server so that can be any backup file that can be full backup or differential backup or transaction log backup when we are restoring the database with the, any of these backups and the database is currently using by a user a user is currently connected that connected to that database and he is doing some operations so during that time if we are trying to restore a full backup or else when the database is in a standby read only and uh, you are trying to restore differential backup or transaction log backup so then we are going to get this error message it is saying that exclusive access could not be obtained because the database is in use someone is using the database so let's see that guys how we can resolve these issues okay so let me show you that now i'm going to try to restore a database backup from the backup file so now let's restore your database i'm connecting to cspider server guys and say connect and now I'm going to restore the database CSI DBA 10 database from its backup file. When I'm trying to restore the back, this database from its backup file, it will fail because uh, I'm going to make sure someone is accessing this uh, database. So right click on database and say restore database and uh, click device and ellipse button, click add button and select that backup file where you have kept that in F drive, C spiders folder, DB backups folder, here it is the backup file. Select that one and select that one. So now guys, um, this is the database I'm going to restore. This backup file I'm going to restore on top of this database and go to the options, override the existing database and I will say restore with no recovery and try to say okay. So now guys, we are going to see this error message. Um, exclusive access could not be obtained because of the database is in use that means someone is right now use, using the database so how do we solve that just wait it is um, the restore operation is trying to restore it now but anyway uh, it is going to fail let's wait see now so this is failed here it is the error message you can uh, click on this link guys here in the progress bar you will see that restore of database csi dba 10 is failed click on this link guys and now it is showing um, the same error message exclusive access could not be obtained because the database is in use so this is the error message that means someone someone is using this database right now and how do we know that right now who is connected to this database and what operations they are doing and i want close that connections how do we do that now guys so let's say okay and don't close no need to close this window guys just minimize this window and now I'm going to see who are all connected to this database CSI DB810. How do we see that guys? So very, very simple. You can right click on here and say activity monitor. Open that activity monitor. Right click on the server and click on activity monitor. And now this activity monitor is open here. Click on this processes tab. And there we can see all the process. Wait for a couple of, wait for a few seconds guys. These sessions may not pop up right away. It takes some time. And you see that, so this is all the connections and I can see there is a connection number 59. It is uh, someone, CHRD is connected to this database and is doing some work. So I see that there is other connections and other databases, but uh, I'm going to close this connection guys. So I'm going to forcibly close this connection and right click on that bar, just right click on that and say kill process and say yes. We are going to close that. See now we, I forcibly close that uh, connection 59. So now, we can start we can start resume database restore go ahead here and uh, now the problem here is guys you see this work okay button is uh, not showing up uh, just don't no need to do anything guys just uh, do one thing a trick just to remove your letter here and add it here back that's it and you can see that work okay button is enabled and say okay so now the database is restored successfully and say okay so this is how we can uh, resolve that issues guys if somebody is already connected and we are unable to restore the database because of that we can simply open activity monitor and close the connections to that database no need to close the connections from the other databases 
okay guys that's it guys thank you for watching the video guys bye